One of the biggest reasons I wanted a Steam Deck was for emulation. Hey we Deemers, it's Sal, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at getting Emulation Station up and running on your Steam Deck via MU Deck. We're also going to be taking a look at a few things that just might confuse you during the process and see if we might be able to clear those up. Let's take a closer look. Even though you can install EMU Deck and Emulation Station on the internal storage of the Steam Deck, I highly suggest using a micro SD card. First step would be to format the SD card and the easiest way to do this is in Steam Mode. After inserting your SD card, an icon will show in the notification bar indicating it's compatible with the Steam Deck and now we format. Click the SD card icon, scroll down and click Format. Who would have thought that formatting a micro SD card would be such a pain in the ass? But apparently on the Steam Deck it is. I tried several SD cards with most of them failing and even one of them taking several tries before I got a successful format. So I suggest maybe getting a really high quality SD card, but who knows, maybe that won't even work. For the next few steps, we need to be in desktop mode. Hold the power button for a few seconds and then select switch to desktop. From here, open a browser window, type emu-deck.com click download and then select download software if you happen to watch the ETA Prime video he instructs you to download the EMU deck SD card version but yeah, I'm here to tell you that that doesn't exist. So don't waste your time being confused like this moron and just download the EMU deck desktop app it's it's right on their website only one option exists. When the download is done, open the file explorer and find the downloads folder. When you click on EMU de desktop, you're greeted with three options. Open, execute, and cancel. About this time, for some odd reason, I just repeatedly kept clicking open. And that's obviously wrong. So don't be a fool like this guy and just go ahead and click execute, which is the right thing to do. The program will ask you if you want to install to the internal storage or micro SD. Make your selection and it will run through the install. Before we install Emulation Station, we want to copy your ROMs over. Click File Manager, scroll down, and select Primary. An emulation directory was created on the SD card. Click that, and then ROMs. The ROMs directory is where you will place your games into the individual emulation directories. I used an external USB to transfer files from my gaming PC to my Steam Deck. There is also a BIOS directory on the SD card and this is where you will stick the BIOS files which some emulators require. Now I obviously can't tell you where to get these but Google is on your side. The next step is to get the emulation station app. Head over to es.de.org, scroll down to Linux app image, and select the emulation station Steam Deck app image. Right around this time, you might get impatient and switch to Steam mode or game mode, whatever they're calling it, because you think that everything is up and running and ready to go. But I'm here to tell you, you're wrong. However, there is one more step. Open the Steam Deck app located on the desktop, click games in the main menu, and add non-Steam game to my library. Click browse, click the drop down menu, and select home deck. In the home deck directory, find your downloads folder, make sure all files are showing, click emulation station D app, open, and then add selected program. Here's a, another time that I fudged up. I know it's, it's hard to believe. I never opened emulation station in desktop mode and when I switched to Steam mode I was sadly disappointed when emulation station wouldn't load. So do yourself a favor, learn from my stupidity, load emulation station in desktop mode before heading back to Steam mode. 
game mode. I, I think it's called game mode. I'm calling it Steam mode, so accept it. So there you have it, we deemers. It's that easy to get Emulation Station and EMU Deck running on the Steam Deck, and I'm happy to say it runs really well. I got God of War Chains of Olympus running for the PSP, and it runs better than anything that I've ever reviewed on the channel. I'm gonna be doing several game testing videos, so if you're interested in seeing anything running on the Steam Deck, let me know in the comments down below. Go follow that group for exclusive unboxings, DIY projects, and to express your opinions on anything hardware related, such as the Steam Deck that you've used recently. Also, don't forget that we got that dock for the Steam Deck coming soon or not so soon. I'm waiting on it, they keep delaying it, I might cancel and get another one. Either way, it's coming to the We Dean channel, so if you're interested in that, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait, my busted face ain't going nowhere.